By going to the wheel, you can set a parameter by turning the wheel anti-clockwise until the desired parameter flashes. You press the wheel and then turn the wheel clockwise to reach the value you require and press the wheel to confirm your selection. Once your parameters have been set, you will see displayed in the LCD window the measured breath rate, the measured mean airway pressure, the amount of flow required to maintain the mean airway pressure, and the measured oxygen percentage. All messages are cancelled after 10 seconds, whereupon the screen reverts to normal and normal measured parameters are shown. The first parameter you will set is the oxygen percentage. Rotate the wheel anti-clockwise once until it flashes and the message in the top window will say set oxygen level. Press, turn clockwise to set a value. Press again to confirm your selection. Next parameter which is the mean airway pressure, turn the wheel twice till it flashes. Press and now turn clockwise to set the value you wish the baby to receive and press to confirm. Again the message in the window will read set CPAP level. This message is only shown when you're selecting the parameter. The CPAP level can be set from 2 to 12 millibars. The next parameter to set is the apnea time. By turning the wheel three times anti-clockwise it will flash Press, going clockwise, sets the value you wish to have and you press the wheel to select your choice. The apnea time can be set anywhere between 0 to 90 seconds. If an apnea alarm does occur, a boost or stimulation breath of 3 millibars more than your set CPAP level will be delivered for three seconds and this will show as plus three in the top right hand corner of the LCD window. This cycle will repeat until the trigger is recognized and until a trigger is recognized the LED, the top of the machine, will illuminate red. The boost can be manually delivered as necessary by the user and will always be 3 millibar above the set CPAP level. So if I've set 5, the boost will be 8 millibars which is 3 above the set. This can be held for a maximum of 30 seconds whereupon it will cease to support and this can be repeated as required. When an apnea time has been set, the high breath per minute alarm is automatically activated. If the high breath rate of over 90 breaths per minute is detected and maintained for 10 seconds, you will get a high priority alarm shown by the flashing LED. The message in the LCD screen will be high breath per minute alarm and the LED will flash red. The next message is set trigger sensitivity and this is four turns of the wheel anti-clockwise. You click on it and it will show a setting in the top right hand corner. The trigger sensitivity goes from one to six with six being the most sensitive and three the default setting. This is a pressure trigger and if you see a low breath per minute rate displayed but you can see that the baby's making more effort, this could be an indication to increase the trigger sensitivity. The level of the sensitivity shown in the top right hand corner will be replaced by a flashing star indicating triggered breaths. Once the main parameters have been set, Further messages can be accessed by rotating the wheel. These messages are in anti-clockwise order. Set oxygen level, set CPAP level, set apnea time, set trigger sensitivity, show battery level, start O2 calibration, show alarm history and set flow. The next message 
after set trigger sensitivity is show battery level. By pressing the wheel, you are then shown the battery level as a percentage of charge. The next message after the battery level is to start the oxygen calibration. This can be manually done while the infant is connected to the flow driver as the set oxygen level will continue to be delivered. If you start the setup of the SLE 1000 system using air only and at a later stage you connect oxygen supply, you will then have to manually calibrate the oxygen system. To review the alarm history, press the wheel when the message appears and rotate the wheel clockwise to view the previous alarms. The previous 25 alarms are shown. I'm now going to show you how the adapter flow works. At the moment, the measured mean airway pressure is 5 and the flow is measuring 8.9. On introducing a leak, the measured mean airway pressure will reduce, whilst at the same time the flow will increase to maintain the selected CPAP level. If the leak reduces, the flow automatically reduces to its previous level to maintain the selected CPAP level. Please refer to the nomogram in the user manual for upper and lower limits of flow depending on the set CPAP level. The SLE 1000 offers a secondary mode which is flow mode. Turn the wheel twice clockwise, press the wheel and now turn clockwise again to select the desired level of flow and press it. Immediately the LED bar illuminates to remind you to press and hold the audio pause button. By doing this you have set the upper and low pressure alarms and this will be set at about 2 millibars above and below the measured CPAP level. You will notice that the CPAP millibar set level has disappeared and is replaced by two dashes. All other parameters, excluding apnea, can be set as described and shown for CPAP mode.